welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. Me and my Huber Banjo welcome you to your favorite online learning place. When it comes to learning how to play the banjo, or the guitar, or the mandolin, this is my third week teaching this great song, Under the Double Eagle. Okay, we're going to learn it on banjo this week. If you play guitar or mandolin, I've already posted those, so you'll want to go to the website and check those out. Each one of these lessons lasts about 30 minutes and I have videos that show you how to play each and every note. We talk about right hand, left hand technique, bringing out the melody, how to make it sound good. And then I also have another video segment where I play the whole thing through very slowly so you can follow along, along with the tab on the screen. And I've got four different speeds of guitar rhythm tracks. So you can practice along, you can print out the tab, you can either get it in PDF or TIFF format. It's exactly the way that I played it in the performance. So if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook here in a little while, I'll ask you to go over to the website banjobenclark.com where you can actually enjoy a free three-day trial membership to all of my videos, hundreds of them. Come check it out. Let's dive into Under the Double Eagle. First thing I wanna mention is that we're playing out of G tuning, but we're in the key of C. The way that we achieve that is we're gonna take a capo, put it up on the fifth fret, okay? Some of you may not have capos uh, that stretch across at your fifth fret. Um, if you don't, just order a, a fifth fret capo and uh, you'll be able to do that. And then also I took my fifth string and I put it under a spike here at the 10th fret so that my tuning is like this. Okay, that's a C chord. But we're gonna play just like we're out of the G position. Um, now we're gonna start off there in measure one with just a, a walk up. You'll notice that all of the notes have the right hand fingerings beneath them. Okay, so the T stands for thumb, as in our walk up there. The one is for index finger, the two is for middle finger. And we have, um, we have throughout the song chances to use different fingers than what I have listed. A lot of times people email me and they say, uh, you said to use your thumb there, but I find it easier to use my index. That's fine, I'm just uh, giving you my preference for these fingers. But we're gonna start out on the low D string there, walking up, just three quarter notes. And then as we get into the second measure, we're gonna start off with what's called a 16th note slide. And we're gonna be dealing with 16th note and eighth note ornaments, just meaning slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, all throughout the song. If you uh, don't know the difference in that, I invite you to go watch my videos uh, showing how to read banjo tab, or I have another one um, practicing your 16th and eighth note uh, pull-offs. Um, but the 16th note slide just means that the slide's going to happen before you pick the next note in the measure. So we're sliding from the 4th to 5th fret down here, and that's going to happen before I pick that next note. And we're just going to do a forward roll through and come right back, forward reverse. Now on the 3rd beat, we have an example of an 8th note hammer on. And so we're going to pick that low D string and then hammer to the second fret, but it's not going to be a real fast hammer on. It's going to happen the same tempo as, my, as our other notes. Um, so that measure two sounds like this. I missed my hammer on, but I'll play the walk up and measure two. Cool. Now we're going to do another forward reverse roll, measure three. We're going to start it with the 16th note slide though from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret on the G string and we're going to get that slide in before we pick that open B string. So it's going to sound like this. Then we're going to do another hammer on. That's another 8th note hammer on. Okay, so measures 2 and 3 sound like this. Cool. When we get into measure 4, we're going to start it off with another 8th note hammer on. One and, okay, so we're going to play the open D string, then hammer to the second fret, then we have some quarter notes after that. Okay, pretty simple. Measure five, start out with a forward roll with the slide. But then here's an example of when I like to use my thumb when some of you may not. Um, and we're going to come right back to the B string, the second string, and play the first fret. And to me, that's just easier to play with my thumb. Measure five slowly sounds like this. I can play that with my index finger. But it's just tougher to do middle, index, middle. I'd rather reach down and grab it with my thumb. Especially when you're going up to speed. Measure six is real simple. 
there again, I jump up and I grab my thumb on those last two notes of measure six. And I just love using my thumb whenever I can. Some of you may choose to use your index there, that's fine. And then we got four more quarter notes in measure seven. Really simple. And then measure eight, we're going to start with a pinch of our first two strings and then do the last bit of our regular G lick. You can hammer that or slide it. When we get to measure nine, we're just going to turn it back around, do that little walk in again, and then we've already seen the rest of this. We just played it. On into measure 11. Good. Hammer on 12. We've seen all this. But then in measure 14 and 15, we're going to do something a little bit different to wrap up um, this A part of the song. Um, and it's just a good old Scruggs lick. We'll start out just with the quarter note on the first string. And then we're going to hammer second to third. It's a 16th note hammer, so it's going to happen before we pick the next note. And I typically will use my middle fingers for this, but um, most of you will probably want to use your first two fingers, and that's fine. Um, and so I'll do it with these first two fingers. Leave everything down, and then measure 15, we're going to place our ring finger up there on the third fret of the first string. And I sneak up there and hit my thumb on that B string. And then do a fast 16th note pull off. Because our index finger's already down on that second fret that we're pulling off to. And we have another pull off. So 14, 15 together. Cool. And then 16, we wrap it up with a regular G leg. Now we're going to go into the B part of the song. It gets really fun. <laughs> 